Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to do a test review of this uh, DC to DC with an input of 9 to 35 and output of uh, 5 volts rated at 5 ampere or 25 watt. This is made by IC station. They send us this for review and we are going to perform a, an honest review and test this under uh, different uh, vo input voltage condition as the output is always fixed. Let's get started with this. This is the module. The module is based on these two MOSFET. These are the output stage and then we have the white uh, input regulator here and here we have uh, three terminals this is the positive for the input and that's a common ground for both and that is the output at this input from the input uh, we have a reverse polarity protection diode here this is a shot key diode the anode is connected to the positive and the cathode is connected to the rest of the circuit to uh, so all the current passes through this and if you connect the polarity in reverse this will block the current uh, this uh, is a 5 ampere surface mount diode SS510 and the maximum current that it can handle is 5 ampere and because the total power uh, is important at the input and an output so at the input we will never have 5 ampere it will be always much lower than 5 ampere uh, this is the inductor that can handle it to 12.5 ampere so that's pretty nice. It still uses this uh, 6.1 micro Henry, the ML33. Uh, this chip here is the uh, TPS40057. This is a white input 8 to 40 volts back controller uh, chip from Texas Instrument. And as you can see, it can accept 8 to 40 volts two chip here these are Toshiba MOSFET TPC 8016H and if you look at the data sheet here the important characteristics for these are the low leakage current 10 microampere and uh, for us this will be the 60 volts the maximum if you look at the chip uh, diagram this is what is inside the chip so pin all these one side pin 5, 6, 7 and 8 are the drain and here pin 1, 2 and 3 are the source and gate is connected here to pin 4. The, the DC drain current is 25 and here is the pulse. They have two nodes here which I will not look at it. 75 ampere but 25 is the drain current and the power dissipation at 25 degrees is 45 watt they used two of this uh, we are uh, increasing twice our channel to case this doesn't have any heat sink but in case if you need it that's 2.78 degrees per watt there are other characteristics that are needed for the design because this module is already built so those are not of our concern here is the manufacturer website and the product is listed on this page the link will be provided to you if you wanted to have a look at this product listed now on, uh, on eBay the prices are in Canadian dollar and unfortunately the manufacturer did not care to have a model number for this so you have to put all this they could have just put like uh, IMB 6A or something like that so people would be able to find it easily now I've uh, connected this these two pins uh, this is the input and that's the voltage that you're reading and this is the output the common is common between both so this is the ground and the un input voltage and here you will read it this is the output voltage which is 5 volts the first thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna test the output voltage regulation meaning that I'm gonna change the input and check and see how regulation is being affected by the input so this is supposed to output 5 volts under any condition between 9 to 35 volts at the input so 
let me go with the so now the input is around 30.5 volts and we are reading 5.06 so this is 66 millivolts uh, at the end which can be neglected it's less than a percent about a per one percent of uh, the main voltage so let's go for 24 volts so we are still reading 5 volts 20 volts still very stable uh, remember this this is done now without the load so we will test it with the load later 15 volts 16 5.07 so it's 5 volts and then let's go for 12 volts 5 volts let's go for 10 volts still we are getting 5 volts and let's go for 9 volts we are getting 5 volts according to the manufacturer the input voltage cannot be less than 9 volts in order to get 5 volts but let's just test it and see without the load under what condition this produces 5 volts and now it's 3 volts unstable 8.3 that's why they put 9 as soon as it's 8.6 you will get 5 volts this module must have input of 9 volts in order to get 5 volts stable at the output now let's do the first test which is 30 volts the output is 5 volts and I'm applying 5 ampere load here this is very tiny but when I connect it you will see now 5 ampere is now being drawn from this to the load and you can see the voltage the voltage has uh, dropped about 20 millivolts at 5 ampere so the main two chips that are uh, handling the load are these two these are mass very cool so they are getting hot this is the main mm, winding that's handling all the current and here is a ripple that we are reading 106 millivolts this is with the load let me disconnect the load uh, it seems a little small difference 86 millivolts a ripple when there is no load and now I have connected 24 volts as an input and uh, this time let me just check it output is still 5 volts the load is not connected let me connect it as you can see there is a little voltage drop I will leave this for a few minutes after about two minutes still it's handling it it's getting hot for example I put my finger now for about four or five seconds now it's get unbearable so the main these two power output and this is the main conversion chip so all of these are getting hot that uh, three now let's check the uh, ripple at the output and as you can see we are getting around 104 millivolts ripple and the frequency is about 260 kilohertz if we ignore these spikes but now let's uh, disconnect the load and check the ripples and see how much it's, uh, the ripples are getting cleaner or better no difference still it's the same I've connected uh, 15 volts here 
at the device and output is 5 volts let me connect the load with 5 ampere so we are 5 ampere again we are reading about 60 millivolts drop here which is uh, minimal so pay attention as the input uh, the difference between input and output decreases the load on this device and the pressure will be less let's see and you can see that these spikes appear more and more but uh, let me just read the we have we are getting 94 millivolts ripple and if i disconnect the load it seems we are getting less ripple about 78 millivolts now the input is 12 volts and the output is of course 5 volts so let me turn on the 5 ampere current very stable now I've connected the lowest voltage that this regulator accepts is 9 volts the output is 5 volts as you can see 5 ampere load will be connected now uh, the heating happens very quickly I don't have to wait for long to notice it and as you can see the ripple is around 66 millivolts it seems that when the input and output voltage get closer we have less ripple here and this is with the load now let me just disconnect the load and uh, see the uh, change in ripples it seems the ripple has decreased let me just stop it and read it so the ripple is around 54 just a little below and this was the minimum input voltage that was allowed to do the test on this because below this the, the device will not output 5 volts and in conclusion that this device handles pretty well um, the regulated output voltage of uh, 5 volts as you can see here now it's 994 uh, point that's 950 so 50 millivolts or up to 60 millivolts drop at the output which is negligible with this current and the average of ripples uh, between 60 to 80 millivolts uh, ripple at the output uh, the device gets hotter as the input voltage increases uh, if I go for 30 volts now it's around 30 so the device gets hotter it seems that um, it should be in a position that there is enough ventilation whatever device you have or the room temperature should not be that hot but you see my hand got hotter now so uh, above 24 24 and above this needs some kind of ventilation or if you want to use it with 5 ampere or the current should be reduced in order to keep this running for a longer period of time thank you for watching this was a test review of this uh, 5 volt 5 ampere uh, regulated voltage with the input of 9 to 35 volts please thumb up the video please also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos take care